I got you stuck off the realness. I got you stuck off the realness. I got, I got, I got, I got you stuck off the realness. I'm programmed with essential 21st century smack talk. Your mother is fond of Brainiac. Um, so let's just get into it. Uh, let's just, uh... Hey, hey, Mebs here, and I'm back with another exciting video. Again, we're gonna go on test server and take a look at the Save the Universe 2023. Here is the vendor. If you do not complete none of these feats, well, now you have the time to collect all these styles and materials and whatsoever you inside this vendor. Here is the feat list. We have not added anything new because we are running out of ideas here at Daybreak Delusional Inc. But as you can see right here, if you have not gotten these feats in the last two years that this event has come out, you can now do so here in 2023. Most players have already or will now start speed hacking all of these feats. In case you finished all those feats and got everything from the vendor, we have provided you with some unlocked Kryptonian time capsules and some six dimensional Kryptonian time capsules. We also give you some luminous and stones and some ally favors, but we put a time limit on this. You could only get these once per week. If we allowed you to endlessly grind this stuff, we will never make any money out of the marketplace. This year, we're going to scale two sets of content. We're going to go back to the throwback. You can now experience Raising Hades, the Alert that Mascara Divine, and the Raid God of Monsters. That was what we had in store for the Amazonian pack. Now for the magic, you go to the JLD pub crawl. You also have the Alert right here. We're going to go back to Darkness Rising. And for your Raid, you have Fellowship of the Arcane. That concludes our video presentation of Save the Universe 2023. I hope you enjoyed our recycled content here at Daybreak Delusional Inc. Now before I go, I would like to share with you that my meows that you always see me in these videos meowing all the time. That meow is not edited. That was me meowing at work. I was trying to impress Oceans, one of our former devs, which I think my creepy crush on her probably made her want to quit the company. Now I'm going to zoom out that clip of me meowing so you can see the full context of what I'm talking about. I got you stuck off the realness. I got you stuck off the realness. I got, I got, I got, I got you stuck off the rim.